Hello everyone, good to see you again. Welcome to this week's F1 Clash video. Thank you for your patience in the fact that there was no video last week, just a few posts on Twitter slash X and community parts on YouTube as well. Ah, uh, in the middle of a move. I'm still kind of in the middle of a move, so that's why there's a bit of a mess behind me. But I finally have space, I have a chair, and things couldn't be better. Coming up today is going to be the latest latest from the F1 Clash Community Championship 2023 as well as my rewards from last weekend's events which yeah I, I'll admit didn't do well with uh, my first time in Contender mainly due to the move and other little things as well however I am still going to show you my rewards on there and then finally today we are going to get into next week's event which is the Aston Martin Team Series but uh, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the rest of the content that we're doing on YouTube and Twitch, and also check out the Discord, because I'm going through a renovation on there at the moment. There is an F1 Clash section on there, plus I'd love to get more active people such as yourselves in the Discord as well. But enough of me waffling on, let's get on to the first point, which is going to be stand-ins and one of the teams behind us making major moves in the F1 Clash Community Championship. Well then, after what was originally a fantastic week six, unfortunately us at AlphaTauri have dropped down by not quite a little but quite a lot with looking at the numbers in front of me right now second lowest medium we've had since the F1 Clash Community Championship 2023 has started. What has caused this? I don't know. Could be a lot of people on the, the holidays, could just be a lot of people finding the event just as tough as I did, or it just wasn't meant to be this week. But looking through, apart from Alfa Romeo regaining the top spot for the week, you've got to have a look at Williams and really hand it to them they've, they've done an absolutely fantastic job after their medium week three being absolutely terrible since then they've gone from strength to strength and it's now not just mercedes we have to look out for behind us but possibly a late run from williams as well as it stands with 91 points we are 11 ahead from mercedes possibly no chance of catching up to the top two but mercedes and williams are the ones we we need to be very very careful of but anyway with next week's event being the aston martin one i'm fully confident that we can turn everything around and get back to those higher up in the table weights a very difficult weekend for us due to the move everything that's going on in life at the moment i tried my best but Unfortunately, it's happened through qualifying and the opening rounds as well. It's just too many opponents over 1,000 of team score. And no matter what I tried, I just couldn't get over that amount. It really affected us and just got myself a blame for not uh, preparing a little bit more for how much of a step up this weekend was going to be. This also means no division bonuses for the week either just due to the amount of little time I had to play at all but anyway like I said all my rewards are here for you to see enjoy Yeah, pretty lackluster rewards even by my own standards. Like I said before, moving has massively ate into the time I have been able to put into F1 Clash this weekend. Plus also, my team score, no matter what setup I try to use, whatever combination, I just could not get it over a thousand, which if you're racing in contender, 
those who are slowly raising up the ranks please make sure you can get that team score over a thousand or else you're just going to be constantly against people who are a good 50 60 70 sometimes even more than that points ahead of you and it's just not worth the stress sometimes finishing lower in contender gets you worse rewards than if you finish higher in challenger so for this weekend's f1 team series event in, for aston martin i will be jumping back to challenger it'll make the twitch streams a little bit more interesting as well when we stream f1 clash on there links underneath make sure you're following and yeah once we jump onto there one thing i've noticed straight away uh once again final round and opening round are exactly the same tracks exactly the same chance of rain exactly the same temperatures i've noticed there's a few few more rains on there than usual just take care especially if they're around or underneath 50 percent just to make sure that your time your dries and your wets if you are unlucky enough to be in a race which isn't fully wet or fully dry especially if you're going for those tiebreakers as well so melbourne montreal sao paulo baku a nice mixture of corner and speed traps so if if you can afford to change your setups and still keep a reasonably decent uh, team score then just concentrate on those temperature in baku doesn't quite hit 30 degrees so just just keep a double check on those tire tire wears when we go to the opening and finishing rounds everything is pretty simple there as well silverstone miami and belgium as well all with chances of rain so keep your eyes open for those temperature wise you got a few which are just creeping into the above 30s singapore miami like i said before check your tires keep a look on those and if you have a drivers with a high tire management then that is where you're going to be uh a couple of steps ahead of everybody else but thank you all so much for watching thank you for your patience in the time that it's getting me to get all these videos out especially with the moves going on at the moment if you haven't already make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe check out the rest of the videos that we do we do a lot of sim racing on the channel there is a new update for iRacing a new season build coming out this week so maybe expect a couple of sim racing videos this week once again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hitting that and turning your notifications on means that you get to the videos sooner than everybody else. Also underneath you've got my Twitch, Discord, all those links there, so make sure you click on those following everywhere. Till then, I shall see you all on the next video. Good luck with this weekend's team event. Take care of yourselves, but most importantly, please make sure you take care of each other.